Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're gonna look at how to sideboard with blue white spirits in Pioneer. I'm gonna talk about how to sideboard against the top 10 most popular decks in Pioneer, and hopefully you can use that knowledge to teach yourself how to sideboard against the other decks. Let's do it. By the way, if you're interested in learning about this deck and the card choices and things like that, then uh, you should check out my deck tech, which uh, is was posted yesterday if you're watching this the day it comes out. Um, it is on the channel, definitely check that out. So the most popular deck in Pioneer is, of course, Rakdos Midrange. Against Rakdos Midrange, we are bringing in four Wedding Announcement because they have a lot of removal. The game is going to go long. We need to just outcard them and outvalue them. Wedding Announcement does that the best. Takasi is Welcome is another one of those cards that lets us start, try to outcard our Red Black Midrange opponent. And then Declaration of Stone, uh, just for the, you know these imp, imp creatures that are uh, applying pressure to us, lets us uh, let, especially like Shieldred and things like that. Um, and then Skyclave, Apparition is also pretty good, again, for things like Shieldred and, and whatnot. Now we're going to be bringing out Katilda because we're not going to have a lot of Spirits on the battlefield at any given point if our opponent has a reasonable hand. We're going to be bringing out three Spell Queller uh, because like often they have so many removal spells that often when we counter something with Spell Queller, the Spell Queller dies shortly after. And we're going to be bringing out Shacklegeist because Shacklegeist against this deck is pretty much just a 2-2 two -two for two. And so this is how I sideboard against Red Black Midrange. Mono Green Devotion is the second most popular deck in Pioneer against Mono Green Devotion. We are bringing in Portable Holes. It hits the Mana Dorks and Wolfalo Haven, and slowing down our opponent is super, super important, especially for one mana. Declaration of Stone, because Cavalier of Thorns is a nuisance having reach. Uh, otherwise, slows them down, uh, even if you don't do it on Cavalier of Thorns. Skyclave Apparition uh, for Mana Dorks, for Wolfalo Haven, for uh, the three mana 4-4, four, four, just to reduce Devotion. Just really, really solid. And then a Disdainful Stroke, because a lot of stuff we're afraid about is costing four or greater and then aether gas counters pretty much the whole deck besides karn i guess uh we're gonna be bringing out rattle chains because they have no targeted removal um so we don't need to protect anything with rattle chains we don't care about playing instant, instant speed we're gonna take out katilda mostly because it's about like stopping what our opponent is doing and applying pressure uh three minute spell not really feeling good about uh i really want katilda against these creature decks and like the the racy decks and that the, the mono green is not that um, and then we are going to bring bringing out Spectral Sailor. The game should not go long. We are tempoing them out. And Spectral Sailor is for the you know these longer games. You're like leaving mana up, need a mana sink or whatever. Um, so size sideboard against Mono Green. Blue Light Control is the third most popular deck in Pioneer. Against Blue Light Control, we are bringing in these cards that help us play the game, uh, out, out card our opponent and play a really long game. When an announcement and Akasi is welcome. Um, and we're bringing in Disdainful Stroke. For, for like Wandering Emperor and uh, other cards like that. Um, they don't have a ton of targeted, or they don't have a ton of creatures. Uh, I like bringing out Shackle Guys. So this is a uh, controversial opinion. I personally would rather just counter the Angel. We play Instant Speed a lot. I'm okay with that. I, I, I would rather just counter the Angels or, or whatever rather than Shackle Guys them down. Uh, the, a lot of the recent versions also are playing Brimaz and Cat, which Shackle Guys is awful against. Uh, most of the time, this card's just a 2 2 for 2, dude. Like, just, just take Shackle Guys out. Um, bringing out Katilda because we rarely have a lot of spirits because they have a lot of removal and then one curious obsession. Because again, they have a lot of removal. Getting two for one early in the game is really rough, but also curious obsession when it, when it connects is really solid, so we're keeping most in. On the side sideboard against Bullet Control. The fourth most popular deck is Red Black Sack. Against Red Black Sack, we have a giant sideboard. We're bringing portable holes uh, for the Witch's Ovens and stuff like that. Uh, and the game's going to go long because they have a lot of removal, so we're bringing our wedding announcement, Cassia's Welcome Package. Uh, we're bringing in Aether Gust. It's really important that we counter the, the those like really important cards like Fable and um, Mayhem Devil, especially Mayhem Devil, and Declaration of Stone. I, again, mostly for Mayhem Devil. We're gonna bring out Shackle Guys. Uh, they go really wide and do a lot of comboy stuff. We don't really care about tapping down big guys that matter. Bring out Spell Queller. They have way too much removal um, for Spell Queller to just do anything ever. And we're bringing out Lofty Denial. Um, we're looking to play a long game. We're looking to just like. Do our thing against them. Uh, the, you know, this, this is how I like sideboarding against Red Black Sack. The fifth most popular deck is Mono White Humans. Against Mono White Humans, we are bringing in Katilda. Uh, we like Katilda because it's a creature deck, and being able to just like play this and race is disgusting. Portable Hole to remove their little human-y guys. Um, bringing in Declaration of Stone, again, for extra removal, and same thing with Skyclave Apparition. And we're going to be bringing out uh counter magic like counter magic is not really great against a deck that's casting a lot of one ofs being able to counter, counter an adeline's dope but i'd rather just remove an adeline right or like spell quell an adeline or whatever like have something that can attack as well uh they don't run a ton of removal so i like kicking out slip out the back and then we're gonna cut three guys light snare guys Light snare for one mana is pretty dope so we're keeping one in and that's how i sideboard against mono white humans next deck is lotus 
Against Lotus, we are bringing in Aether Gust uh, because it counters a lot of their, like after they get their mana, a lot of their combo pieces. Same thing with Disdainful Stroke. And then I actually bring in Katilda just for an extra threat because they don't run a ton of removal, you know, and it, it can kill kind of out of nowhere. And then we're bringing out Shackle Geist because they don't really have creatures. And when they do have creatures, they normally kill you that turn. Uh, so that's how we sideboard against Lotus. Against Abzan Greasefang, really simple sideboard, bringing one Declaration in Stone. Just being able to take out the Angels, like, after a big hit from Parhelion, or Greasefang that's sitting, or one of that two mana spells. Like, Declaration of Stone can be kind of solid. And then we're bringing out Katilda. We need to kill as fast as possible. We don't have time for Sorcerer Speed 3 mana. I'm not chill with that. Um, we need to leave Counter Magic up all the time against against Greasefang. Um, so sorry, sideboard against Greasefang. In the Mirror Match against Blue White Spirits, we are bringing in... For Portable Hole, as you can see, most of the spirits are one or two mana, so that's really, really solid. Declaration of Stone, especially good against Spell Queller, but, you know, we're playing four of them, most of the spirits. Sometimes Deck and Stone can hit multiple things, which is awesome. Katilda, like I said, Katilda's for these creature matchups where you're looking to race. Katilda's awesome in the mirror match, and then Skyclave Apparition uh, just for more removal. Uh, we're bringing out Rattle Chains, because there's not a lot of targeted removal that we're super duper worried about. Like, Portable Hole's annoying, but other than that, meh. Um, and then we're bringing out Spectral Sailor. This is a tempo matchup. We're rarely, rarely, rarely ever going to like have the extra mana to be drawing cards. Um, we just need to be hitting our opponent, stopping our opponent from what they're doing. Uh, so I sideboard in the mirror match. The ninth most popular deck is five color fires. Against fires, we are bringing in a declaration in stone because they're big dumb guys. Uh, Katilda because it's really important. We kind of kill uh, with do big giant hits against them. Uh, Sky Cliff Apparition because it can take out their enchantments that are doing things in comboing. Aether Gust because it can counter those enchantments that are doing things in comboing. And then same thing with Disdainful Stroke. Uh, we're bringing out Rattle Chains. They don't have a lot of targeted removal that we really care about. Um, and for the same reason, we're bringing out some slip out the backs. So we're just trying to kill them and stop them from what they're trying to do. So the size cyber against Fires. And the tenth. Most popular deck in Pioneer is the Creativity Variants. We're going to sideboard the same against both Creativity Variants. We are bringing in Aethergust and Disdainful Stroke. Oh, where'd it go? And Disdainful Stroke and then bringing out Katilda uh, because they have a lot of removal and such. Um, and a Spectral Sailor um, because we want everything else. So that's how I sideboard against Creativity. So there you have how to sideboard against the top 10 most popular decks in Pioneer with Blue White Spirits. The, the new best deck on the block really the two two most winning decks among all the regional championships are this deck and red black sack um if you like this video please be sure to like and subscribe check me out on social medias i appreciate it links are above me and in the description especially on twitch where i stream most days thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time Bye bye